Well, to our top story now, and GB News is set to deliver a petition to the Chancellor, Jeremy Hunt, this afternoon on behalf of over 270,000 of you who've joined our Don't Kill Cash campaign. Well, with more than five million adults in Britain still relying on cash, the petition calls for laws to protect its status as legal tender and there's a widely accepted means of payment until at least 2050. Well, let's speak to our GB News economics and business editor, Liam Halligan, who joins us live from the Albert Embankment. Not far <laughs> for you to go then to get across the river to Downing Street. And you, wow, you're not mincing your words this morning. Liam's on the left there. Yeah, thanks for that, Stephen. Morning, Isabel. No, morning to you, Stephen. I'll get you for that later. Look, I'm not going to mount the inflatable pig and, and swim across the Thames using it as some kind of dirigible. The ex power station is just up the road, but this isn't from the Pink Floyd album cover. If you know, you know. Look, this is an interesting day. Little more than a month ago, GB News launched our Don't Kill Cash campaign. Why did we do that? Because we know that over a million households in this country don't have a bank account. They don't have debit cards. We know that five million Brits rely on cash each day to fulfill their basic needs. We know that increasing numbers of shops don't want to take cash. They don't want the cash handling cards. We know that lots of the tech giants like to monitor everything we do via our debit cards and then they can sell that information to other people who want to market stuff to us, forcing us to buy stuff that we need to borrow to pay for. This is a campaign that lots of the establishment don't want us to be highlighting. And that's one reason why we are highlighting it, because we know there is a real need to keep the minds of politicians and regulators focused on the need to keep cash as legal tender. It's been really heartening for me and the other GB News people involved, particularly our digital team in this campaign, to see the number of people signing our petition, GB News viewers and listeners. It's now approaching rapidly 280,000 people in little more than a month. Let's get it up to 300,000 over the next few hours. So when we look, when we go to Downing Street, when we hand in that petition, we can say to the Chancellor, we can say to his advisers, there is a groundswell of opinion out here. It's not an inside the M25 thing in particular. It's out there in the regions. Banks are being closed left, right and centre. Many high streets are being hollowed out. People, particularly lower income, vulnerable people, particularly the elderly, they don't have smartphones, they don't have debit cards. In many cases, they don't even have bank accounts. They want to keep cash. Is that it, it, in some respects, it's so uncontroversial, isn't it? It just seems like common sense that you know, five million people using cash every day is their main source of, of dosh. Why on earth should we get rid of it? Because, Stephen, there are lots of vested interests and powerful groups who want to get rid of it. There are the big tech companies, as I said, who want us to pay for everything with debit cards and online. Even though we know that 10% of British households are not online. There's a huge digital divide in this country. We know that a lot of businesses don't want to handle and absorb the cash handling costs. We know that lots of banks, of course, are closing their branch networks. Hundreds of banks being closed down every year for the last 10 years. So a lot of people, a lot of powerful interest groups want cash to recede. They want to push us towards a cashless society. Of course, it's inevitable that more and more of our lives are going to be online. But as we move away from an analogue and towards a digital Britain, we've got to make sure that we take the country with us and we don't abandon people, particularly the elderly, particularly lower income and vulnerable households who rely on cash in order to live, work and be members of society. This is GB News. We are the people's channel. We are standing up for those people. Liam, uh, thank you so much. And, uh, you know, by, for judging by the email, Stephen, I think there will be lots you. more signatures this morning. Let's try and get it up to 300,000 if we can. Uh, yeah, I tell you what, Liam, have you still got, apart from the one you stood next to, have you still got a piggy bank? I still do have a piggy bank, Stephen. That's right, I do. <laughs> and that's why we've chosen this wonderful pig image. Don't kill cash, because we are trying to encourage the idea of saving, encourage the idea of people being 
uh, penny wise and pound rich. And by the way, here's a challenge for you. We need to name this pig. What are we going to call it? Are we going to call it Penny? Are we going to call it Oinky? Are we going to call it Pinky? We want GB News viewers and listeners to email us, not only signing up to our gbnews.com forward slash cash petition, but also suggest names for this pig. This pig needs to be named by midday. That is your challenge. Yeah, lovely stuff, challenge Liam. Accepted. Thank you. Yes, let's get those thoughts coming through. Now, mind you, I think Penny might win. I think that's a great That's name. a lovely one.